Let's try one last question. This question here. This is a diffraction question. Um, if you look at this question here, the wave is actually going to go through gaps. So uh, whenever wave have to go through gaps, those are considered diffraction question. Let's try B first. A is a bit uh, different, but let's try B first. So record for diffraction, there are three different shapes, right? When a wave goes through, when the wave goes through a gap, there are three potential shapes. The first shape uh, looks something like this. Three shapes. The second shape looks a bit more curvy, slightly more curvy, looks something like this. And finally, the last shape is, is just going to be a curve, fully curved shape. So, um, the difference between the three cases is that it depends on the gap size. For big gaps, we will get the large straight lines, we will get the large straight lines and a little curve. For medium gaps, we will get like a hybrid between a, a fully curve and a straight line, medium gaps. And for small gaps, we will get we will get fully we will get fully curved shapes. So uh, an example of so some of you are asking me, uh, how small is small? So the general rule is that when the the general rule is that when the wavelength lambda, when the wavelength lambda, this one here, this things here, is equal to the size of the gap, then it is considered a small gap. When the wavelength lambda is greater than the size of the gap, that means the lambda when lambda is when lambda is greater than the gap, then it's con when lambda is great sorry, when lambda when the gap is larger than the wavelength lambda, then it's considered a big gap. So one example of a big gap is question B. This is a big gap question. See, you see this lambda and this gap size. It's quite obvious that the gap is a lot larger than the than the lamb, uh, than the wavelength, and this is considered a small gap. The gap here, g, is almost the same size as the lambda. So let's draw the wave. You pretty much guess how to you can how to do this solve this question now. Let's draw the wave. So for big gap, just draw straight line, longer straight line, even longer straight line, then curve, 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 curve. For this one, this is just this is very easy. Just draw curve, curve, curve. The logic behind this is that the smaller the gap, the more the bigger the wave has to spread out. So the amplitude actually, um, if you're familiar, if you follow my class, the amplitude actually goes smaller, uh, gets smaller and smaller as the wave, the gap, as the gap gets smaller, the the wave actually gets smaller. So less and en less energy, right? That's how you do drawing wave questions.